You can use the chair, you can not use the chair. Chair is great to have. Let's see, can you see me? Let's see, I feel like I need to angle a little bit so you can see my feet. Everybody, give me a thumbs up if you can see my legs and head. Good. No? There we go. Hello. All right, we're good. So I think my chair is in the right spot. Now I'll walk back and forth so I can talk. Um, now, the first step is going to be breath. You can use the chair if you need. If you don't use the chair, if you want to challenge yourself, like I said, modify for what you need to be doing. All of these things, these things can per be performed from bed. These things can be performed in a wheelchair. These things can be performed by a professional dancer. However you want to modify, go to town. But the first step is the same, same for everybody. It's breath. And like, um, it's beautiful for um, the Zoom, we can't see each other. So feel free to do your own thing and nobody's gonna judge. But what I wanna do first is just close your eyes and put your hand on your chest and just take some deep breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. Just listen to your own breath. I'll tell you when you can open your eyes and focus. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, just focus on something low to the ground and soften your eyes. We're just gonna breathe. And I want you to feel your breath, filling your entire lungs, filling your back, filling out your spine, blowing out your hips, your knees, into the nose and out through the mouth. Feel the breath relaxing your shoulders. And as you exhale, let it soften your shoulder blades down, sliding down your back, sliding down your spine, just releasing any tension. Just keep that breath. This is the most important step, the one we begin and end with, is breath. Exaggerate your breath a little bit more than you would normally. Just be aware of filling up those lungs. You're just starting to send that oxygen to your brain so you can make that mind-body connection. A couple more deep, slow breaths. And let your hand fall to your side. And just feel a couple more deep breaths, relaxing, sliding all the breath down your spine, scanning your body for any tension. You don't have to stress about the tension, just be aware of it. Send it some extra breath, give it a little extra love, all the sore spots, the tight spots, breathe through them. And when you're ready, we're gonna take our feet into, I, saw, I call it neutral or four finger parallel hip distance. And we're just gonna add a breath into the nose and reach the arms up, into the nose and out through the mouth. And add a plie or a bend of the knee. Every once in a while I'll use ballet terms. It's just what I do. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And stretch up into the nose and ground it out through the mouth, bend your knees. Plie is just a great way to say hello to the brake pads in your body. Make them soft and strong. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. Let's do three more, because this feels great. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. And in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And relax and bring yourself to neutral. Just breathe naturally and easily. Scan your body for tension. The next step will be tactile. If you'd like, you can use a chair. Sometimes it helps me relax. We're just gonna do a little massage. Let's start with our temples. Circles, 
nice firm circles. And get your face and the base of your skull right there. And work down. We're just gonna do a little self-massage. And work on your shoulders. That's where my tension is. You gotta get pinch. Work back into your scapula if you can reach it. And concentrate on your right arm. Give it a good firm squeeze all the way down. And now your hands, massage your palm, your fingers. And then switch hands, your left to your right. Get your shoulder and work down. Good firm squeezes, just be aware. And when you're ready, massage them, your palm and your fingers. And give them a shake. Work down your back below your scapula and your hips. Let's work our right leg, getting my quads. And I like to lift it up and work on my calf. They're always really tight. And this is a great exercise to do in socks or bare feet. But you can do it in shoes if you're more comfortable, but I'm always barefoot, modern dancer, it happens. Um, you can massage your ankles or if you have bare feet like mine, massage your feet, Ooh. rock. This is the best one, rock your metatarsal. Ooh, that's These, like I said, these are your brake pads. You gotta give them extra care and love. And back up, back to the hips. And when you're ready, Work on the left quad. Get in there, hamstrings. Ooh, get behind your knees. Those soft spots behind your knees. Yeah. And I like to cross to work on my calf. Also stretches out my hip, which is nice. And the foot and ankles. And work back up. And the hips. Keep working back up to your shoulders. We'll turn it down low. Back up your shoulders and back to your temples. All right. And let's do brushes. Next time we're gonna wake up our skin. Brush, just little brushes. Brushes everywhere there's skin. Give it a brush. This wakes it up. Fires off that lower brain and that lower nervous system. So we're not making those connections. Give it a brush, a good firm brush. Brush, 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 brush. Work back up. All right, tactile, we're awake. I'm gonna go back to standing. And give it just a smooth brush, one smooth brush. Tactile is important. One smooth brush. I think we're ready now for the third step, which is core distal. Put your hands on your core and contract into it. Just make yourself as round as you can around your core. And then just stretch straight up in the air to your distal points. And do it again, just hug your core. Drop your tail, hug your core, drop your chin. And distal. And again, core. Soften your knees, plie, bend your knees, and distal. And again, core, and distal. Now we're gonna add a step, put your feet together. We're gonna go core, and step out on your right foot, big X, distal. Step it back in, core, Use your other foot, your left foot, distal. Core, drop your tail plie, bend your knees, distal. Right leg, core. Distal. Now try to coordinate your breath with it. Take a deep breath in 
and blow it out. Exhale. And step it back in, deep breath in. And exhale. One more on each side. Step it back in. Core, distal, right foot. Core, and left foot. And bring it back to neutral. Let's try some rainbows. So we're gonna step over here, step to your right, and reach up and over. And then step here, and reach up and over. And come into your core this time. And reach up and over, and step into your core on your left. Reach it up to your right. Step into your core, and reach your distal. And core. Draw a rainbow, reach the distal points. One more each side, please. Core, distal, core, distal, and bring it to neutral. Let's do one more. Let's come into our core and let's get a real extension through our chest and our chin. Ready? Core, little arch back. Step out. And you can use either side, core, and step out and reach and focus up on the ceiling. Core, distal. Let's do two more. Core, lift your chest, lift your chin, distal. Hey, are you breathing? Core, and distal. Hey, let's do two more to incorporate your breath. In, and exhale, out. Coordinate that breath. Breathe in. And out. And bring it to neutral. All right, so we did our core and distal. Now we're gonna talk about our spines. Um, hey, can, and, and is, is my music too loud? Can you give me a thumbs down? Okay, is that good? Uh, good. Sometimes, uh, you know, and I'm outdoors. There's a lot of cicadas too. So we did core and distal, and now we're going to do my favorite, which is head, tail. So, um, Think about the top of your spine. Think about the base of your spine. We've got to figure out how to get some mobility, some twists, some turn in there. So let's put our hands on there. And we're just gonna roll down just a little bit, like we're gonna put our nose in our belly button. And then roll up and just arch. You feel how the head and the tail are coming together? Core, nose to the belly button and arch. Now we do the same thing, release your arms. Now we're gonna do head and tail connect. And head and tail. Let's do two more and think about your breath. Roll down, plie, bend your knees, down, and breathe. Everybody take a big inhale when you go down. And a big exhale when you go up. Oh, one more, this feels good. Breathe in. And, and. All right, we did it vertically. Let's do it horizontally. So let's take your feet out to a nice wide second position. That just means our feet are out. And we're gonna invite our hips to the party. So just sway your hips to the side. Oh my goodness, that feels good. Sway your hips, bend one knee, bend the other. So. See how your tail can go this direction too. You've got to have mobility. So we're not moving our whole body. We're thinking about just the scorpion tail. Think about how your scorpion tail can move independently. That feels so good. <laughs> My hips are really tight. Bend one knee and the other. So think about it curving like a candy cane. So just the hips. And now, just think about making it under curve, like a smiley face. That's nice. All right, now we're going to make the J into a C. So hips and your head meets it. So now we're making a C curve. And other side, hips, head. And now let it flow. Breathe. You're making a C curve, head tail connection. See if you can make a curve. Your spine turns into a nice curve, a C curve. 
head and your tail connect. You've got to get some mobility in that spine and both ends of the spine, not just the top end. You've got to think about the bottom end. I don't see as much hip action. Go back to the hips. Hips, 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 hips. Hip and head. Hip and head. Make a C curve out of your spine. That's that proprioception that I talked about. That awareness of what your body is doing. This is why this is important. So let's just do the upper body now. Upper body. Just the upper body. See how I'm making a candy cane curve? A candy cane curve. That feels good. All right, let's make the meat again. Hips. In fact, the C curve. Invite your hips to the party. That feels great. All right, we'll get the hang of it. Now, let's do a little twist. Twist and twist and twist and twist. Let's breathe. <sighs> hey, can we add a plie, a bend? Bend, bend. That feels good. Let's pop another. Think about that spine twisting. Let's do four more. Twist, bend your knees, twist. Use your breath. Three, four. All right, that felt great. Come back to neutral. Take a deep breath. All right, so we did head, tail. We did, we did our core and our distal, our head and our tail. That's my favorite. I always do head, tail for a long time. Now it's time to work on body halves. So this is good because we can adjust this. We can see everything. Oh no. Don't push the button, Cassie. We're only going to work on our upper body now. My voice is out of shape. So, I just like a nice rounded feet right here. And we're going to only work on our upper body. So, you can do a little improvisation or we can also do some routines, some follow. So first, let's just do some improvisation. Move your head. We're only gonna do our upper body. So really ground your lower. Stick it out like a chicken, back and forth. Side to side. Focus on the ceiling corners, upstage corners. Think about your ears. And now your shoulders. Give them a roll. Roll them backwards. Now roll them forwards. Now up and down. Now give them a shrug, a switchy shrug. Switch, switch. And now let's work on elbows. Ooh, what can our elbows do? So we're just drawing pictures with our elbows. Draw some cursive writing. Write your name with your elbows. Oh. All right, now let's do wrists. Hello, wrists. How are you? Just give them circles. Give them up and down and up and down and up. And let's do fingers. Play the piano with your fingers. And give them a shake, give them a shake, give them a shake. Oh, we better think about our core too. Can you move your ribs side to side? Your ribs side to side. And twist a little bit, twist, twist. And a little bit more up and down, down and up. All right, we've explored all the different body parts. Our feet are grounded and solid. Our knees are soft, not locked. Let's do a little bit of coordinated movement. Um, let's do some heterolateral movement. That means um, you're going to do one, then the other. It's a little bit more complicated. So let's do four of these. One, two, three, four. Now, elbows, wrists, reach and a down. Start right arm. One, two, three, four, elbows, wrist up, bend it down, and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, one, and a two, and a three. It's important to be able to do both. One thing at a time, heterolateral movement, and then together, homolateral movement. 
And now, new chair. I'm gonna swing, let's swing, swing. Just swing. And breathe. Don't bend your knees, just a little softness there. Just breathe. And now take a both up. Let's swing the right arm. Swing and uh, up and uh, swing and uh, up. Alternate, swing and uh, up and four. Swing and uh, both arms. Swing and uh, forwards. Swing and uh, up. Swing and uh, up. Forwards and up. We got that routine? Ready, we go. Right and uh, up. Left and uh, up. Right and uh, up. Left and uh, up to the side. Out and up. Forward, up, out, up. Last time, forward. And let's do that routine one more time. Take a deep breath. And swing. Up. Swing. Up. Swing. Up, release. Swing. And uh, to the side, side. Swing and melt down your head side to side just a little bit. And your shoulders and your elbows and your ribs. And stay very still, bring it back to neutral. Take a deep breath. And I want you to feel how your upper body feels different from your lower body. We've been doing body halves. It's very important to be able to separate those. So we've been doing upper body. Now I'm going to move this guy. We're going to work on lower body. Yeah, we're going to go down. So you might need your chair. There, hello. There's my chair. Now you can see my legs, but not so much of my head, but you're going to be fine. All right. Bring it into parallel. If you want to use your chair, I'm going to start and put my chair in my, your right hand because we're going to work on, um, actually, this is too loud for me. We're going to work on our lower half. So if you want to use the chair, feel free to use the chair. If you want to let go and do it independently, that's totally fine. Just have it there for you, okay? Um, sometimes I lose my balance these days, so I, I need it. Okay, so here we have parallel, neutral, and we're going to work on our lower body. Let's just play with our toes. Can you go? Just wiggle your toes. Now can you tap your feet out? We're just gonna explore what our lower body can do first. I'm gonna back up so you can see my head. Is that my head? There we go. Tap your toes. And now, if you wanna hold onto your chair, we're going to do ankle circles. Ankle circles. And other ankle. I keep adjusting myself to see you can get my head in. And switch again, do ankle circles the other direction. Do your ankle circles. I'm gonna just keep messing with this until I can get the first sweet spot. And other ankle. There we go. And if you'd like to try it on your own, let's do ankle circles one more time. Let's just go ankle circles. You can put your hands on your hips, helps me balance. And the other side, or if you want the chair. And now we're gonna think about kicking our heels to our bums. Kick, 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 kick. Like I said, you can hold the chair. Kick. And now we're gonna crease our hips. We're gonna bring up, crease, crease. Ooh, that feels good. Soften your hips. And remember, our upper body needs to be very still. This is about body hacks. And now let's rotate a little bit. Let's do ballet dancers. And hold the chair if you want. Let's just bring out to the right, swing and swing. Swing and swing. Hey, try not to move your upper body. If you wanna hold on to the chair, you have to have your core solid. Swing and swing. Don't move your upper body. Swing and swing, swing and swing. Now let's crease. Crease your hip, crease your hip, crease. Soften your hip, crease, crease, crease. And now let's do a little bit of circles. So you need to switch. I'm gonna do circles, 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 
circles. I'm going in and then out. And do the other side, just four. Circles, circles. We're circling our knee. Circle, circle. And again, take your time. Do four on one side. And then do four on the other. Circles, 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 circles. Ooh, let's do a little swing. That might have some tight. So let's do a little swing front and back, front. I need to hold on to my chair for this one. <laughs> swing. You want to flip and do the other side? Swing. However you need to do it. Just swing parallel. Just easy swing your hips. And let's just do an easy march. Just march. Don't move your upper body. Keep everything in your core still and release your lower body. And let's work back down, make it smaller and smaller and smaller. Just do a little up and down on our toes, just a gentle one. And back to just tap. All right. Now walk it out. Now walk it back in. Now walk it back in. Now walk it back in. And let's do some plies. That means just bend your knees. Bend, bend. Keep the upper body very still. Bend. You roll on the chair if you want. Bend, bend, bend a little faster. A little, give it a bounce. And you can rotate your feet a little bit. Doesn't have to be ballet. Just rotate your feet. Just a little easy. Let's go slow. Slow. And slow. Little fast plies. Fast. Just a little soft bounce. And back to parallel neutral. Release. All right. So we did upper. We did lower. We need to work on our right side and our left side. I'm going to move my chair. Sorry. And there we go. All right. Now, what we need to do now is we need to draw a line vertically through our belly button all the way through our nose. We're only going to work on our right side. You need to make sure your left side is solid, rounded. It is your base. Okay? So here we go. Body sides. Let's only work on your right shoulder. Right shoulder. Let's do that same pattern we did before, but only with the right shoulder. We go elbow and down, go. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Elbow, stretch, down. One more time. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Elbow, stretch, down. Now I want you to drag it up and let's swing sideways. Swing and a rebound. Now front, front and a rebound. Swing and a rebound. Now breathe. <sighs> Coordinate your breath. Swing and just release it. Release. Like you cut the puppet strings. Hey, and now let's do some circles. Circle forward. Ooh, that feels good. Circle. Just release it. Five, six, seven, Eight, backwards, backstroke, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's just do our elbows. Elbow reach and down. Now circles, two, three, four, go forward, forward, two, three, four. Now our, our wrists, four out, two, three, four, reverse, one. Two, three, four. Now fingers wiggle, shake it out. Now let's use our leg. Let's swing just forward and back, forward, back. Just your right, forward, just swing. Can you do your arm and your leg opposite? Arm goes back, leg goes forward. We're only working on that one side. So remember this side is very still. Oh, that's hard, don't stop doing it. <laughs> This is that opposition that we're going to need. And now, just for fun, do the different one. Attach a puppet string to your knee and lift and down. So now you don't have that opposition. 
Now go back to the opposition, see how it goes. Swing, release. And come neutral, take a deep breath. Close your eyes if you want and think about how your right side feels different from your left side. I feel things firing off in my left side, it feels different. So, let's switch it around. Let's see, what did we do? I think we started with our shoulder, didn't we? Let's roll our shoulders. One, two, three, four. Elbow, wrist, paint it down. Go, one, two, three, four. Elbow, wrist, paint it down. Once more, are you breathing? Two, three, four, and an elbow, wrist, lift it and a down, slide it up, let's swing, use your breath, out, and cut the puppet strings, drop it, and drop it, release it and stretch, drop, reach the top, exhale, inhale to the top, One more, and now let's do our, let's go forwards first. Swim, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight backstroke, backstroke, two. Keep this side grounded. I can always tell my left side isn't as strong, so it wants to wiggle. I have to hold it. And now let's do our elbows, elbows. Four, go the other way. Ooh, that's crunchy. Three, four, let's do our wrists. So keep everything still and grounded on your right side and reverse it. And take it out. Don't shake the, left, the right side. Everything's still there. All right, let's do our legs. Let's just swing, swing, swing. Swing, swing, and let's do our toes. If it's not exactly symmetrical, it's totally fine. And let's do our ankles. And let's do a little crease. Crease, and that feels good. All right, let's swing our forwards and backwards. Ready? Hold it, and swing. Are you getting that opposition? Make sure you get the opposition. If you're not getting it, you can stop and go opposite. There you go. And then now get the same. Puppet string, lift and lift and lift and lift. And let's bring it down to neutral. Visualize your vertical line and your horizontal line, the four hemispheres of your body, how they hook in with the hemispheres of your brain. And now we're going to do a little bit of eye tracking. I've got to roll a little faster because I get over, I get over excited and keep going. Um, I could do this all day. Let's put our thumbs in front of our faces like so. You are going to focus on your right thumb. All you're going to do is look at it, turn your head. So we're thinking about this body house again. And turn your head. And turn your head. Follow your thumb with your eyes. Keep your focus. And now this time, stare at both thumbs. You're only going to use your eyes. That takes some different coordination. Keep doing that. I'm gonna check my stereo. And now bring your feet together. And let's do the body halves and turn the head again. This time we're gonna open the book. We're gonna step out and back in. Step out, back in. Step out, back in. Step out. And bring it down, take a deep breath. Now we will do vertical eye tracking. So your thumbs are together. And you're just going to, let's do the same thing. Let's move our chin first and then just our eyes. So reach up and look at your right thumb. 
Bring it back down. Let's take it all the way to our belly button. And up. And back down to your belly button. And up. Use your chin. And up. And now here's the one that I have trouble with. Just the, um, let's take it in front of our chins. Just the eyes. Can't move your chin this time, just your eyes. Keep going, focus on that for yourself, just on your thumbs. Don't move anything, just your eyes. That's hard for me. And now, this is the one that's always hard for me. Bring your thumbs back down to your belly button. We're going to attach our puppet string. Ready? Climb the mountain. You can use your chin this time. So now you're climbing the mountain. Keep focusing on your thumb as you do it, but your wrist is tied to your knee. And when you're ready, bring it back to neutral. We have two more quick steps. I'm gonna work on cross lateral. This is the bringing it all together. This is the complicated, sophisticated movement business. So we'll probably keep it a little simple today because I'm running out of time. But let's just start with reach across your belly button. Reach, reach, reach high. Two, three, four, reach low. Two, three, take your feet out wide, add a step. Reach, two, three, soften your knees, bend your knees, four, and then low. Reach, two, three, four. One more, reach, two, three, four, and low. One, two, three. Four. And here's the most simple version. This is the one that you can do anytime. This is amazing for getting those hemispheres to fire off. I use this to diagnose um, dyslexia, reading problems. Knee taps, simple knee taps. Do it with a swim. Tap, tap, tap. This is everything. Tap, it's great for your balance. We'll make it more sophisticated next week. I'll time myself better. And ready for our last step, take a deep breath. We're going to get our vestibular system a little out of whack. That's how we make it strong. Let's just sway our head first from side to side. This is the easiest version of getting your vestibular system going. Just a sway. Just rocking, see how I get from one foot to the other, I rock. Just get off balance. This is how we train ourselves to get on balance. Now, when you're ready, take a deep breath and start a slow rotation. If you want to go a little faster, you can. If this is enough for you, say, it's just rotate. And when you're ready, stop and focus on your hand. Take a deep breath, just focus, and drop it down. Let's go to the other side, rotate. You can go faster or slower, whatever works for you. And when you're ready, focus on that other hand. Just focus your eyes again. Deep breath. And that's enough vestibular for today. We will add more. Um, I would love feedback on the Google, uh, or you can, um, uh, you can uh, email me. We want more or we want less. We'll go with the flow. Now let's focus with our breath and bring it to a close. Deep breath, let's reach up, into the nose. Plie out the mouth, and in, and out, and in. You can close your eyes if you want, and out, and one more with the arms, and out. And just bring it to close, put your hand on your heart and just feel your heart rise and close your eyes or focus on something away from the screen. All you're doing is breathing and feeling your breath. I like to close my eyes and scan my body and see how it feels different than it did 45 minutes ago. I like to check in with my head, my neck, my shoulders, my back, my hips, my quads. How do your knees feel, your feet, your toes? Give them a little wiggle. Keep focusing on your breath. And one more deep one, exaggerate the breath. 
take a big deep breath and bring it down to neutral. And thank you so much for coming. I was so excited to teach you. That was the most exercise I've had in weeks. So <laughs> thank you guys. Um, you are awesome and feel free to communicate any way you want with me. Um, and I will see you next week. Take care. Thank you. It was great. Thank you guys. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Kathy. I want to say.